In this lecture, I will explain diode equivalent circuits, but first we will try to understand what is an equivalent circuit. An equivalent circuit is a combination of elements, combination of elements like resistor, capacitor, inductor, etc. properly chosen to best represent the actual characteristics the actual characteristics of device in a particular operating region so in equivalent circuit we choose elements like resistor capacitor inductor to best represent the actual characteristics of the device like diode transistor etc in a particular operating region now there is one question why we need equivalent circuit why we need equivalent circuit We cannot use traditional circuit analysis techniques like Thevenin's theorem, Norton theorem, superposition theorem with actual device. If you have diode or transistor in your circuit and you want to use the circuit analysis techniques like Thevenin's theorem, Norton theorem, etc., to find out parameters like voltage, current, or resistance, then you cannot use them with the actual device. And once the equivalent circuit is defined, we can replace the device symbol with equivalent circuit and solve it using traditional circuit analysis method. So it's very simple. If you want to find out parameters like current voltage or resistance, or simply if you want to solve the circuit in which there are devices like diode, transistors, etc., then first you have to replace the device by its equivalent circuit so that you can use the circuit analysis techniques. So this is the reason why equivalent circuits are so important and in this lecture we will try to find out equivalent circuits for diode. We will study three types of equivalent circuits. We will study three types of equivalent circuits. The first one is piecewise linear equivalent circuit. The first one is piecewise piece wise linear equivalent circuit. The second one, the second one is constant voltage drop, constant voltage drop or or simplified simplified equivalent circuit and the third one, the third one and the last one is the ideal equivalent circuit. The third one is the ideal equivalent circuit in the last lecture we have already completed the ideal equivalent circuit and we will start with piecewise linear equivalent circuit there is only one assumption in piecewise linear model we will assume the curve to be linear even with small non-linearity I will write this down we will assume the curve to be linear linear even with small non linearity so this is the only assumption in piecewise linear model and first i will first i will plot the curve and then we will draw the equivalent circuit the y axis is for id and the x-axis is for VD, the voltage across the diode. And uh, if we consider the forward bias condition, then we have something like this. This voltage is VB, the barrier potential. And uh, first we will try to find out the diode resistance, RD. The diode resistance is RD and it is equal to 1 by slope the slope of this curve and you can easily find out why it is equal to 1 by slope we already know slope slope is equal to 10 theta from mathematics we know slope is equal to 10 theta and 10 theta 10 theta is equal to perpendicular by base so we have slope slope equal to id id by VD this is what we have and from Ohm's law we know that VD is equal to ID RD so if we rearrange this we will find we will find 1 by slope is equal to VD by ID and from here you can see if we divide both the sides by ID this will give us 
VD by ID equals to RD. So this we can replace by RD and the diode resistance is equal to 1 by slope. So by calculating the slope we can easily find out the diode resistance and now we will draw the equivalent circuit. In this model we have the barrier potential VB and the diode resistance RD. In the equivalent circuit first I will make the ideal diode. In ideal diode both barrier potential and diode resistance are equal to zero and we are using the ideal diode the symbol for ideal diode to represent the direction of current. I will write this down we use this to represent the direction of current and then we have the barrier potential VB from the plot you can see we have the barrier potential VB and the barrier potential opposes the flow of current so the polarity the polarity will be like this this will oppose the flow of diode current and there is diode resistance RD this is the diode resistance RD this is barrier potential VB and this is the equivalent circuit for diode for diode in case of piecewise linear model and uh, we connect P side to the positive terminal and this side we will connect to the negative terminal and this is the voltage this is the voltage across the diode VD and current through the diode is ID so this is the model or the equivalent circuit for the diode in case of piecewise linear model in this we have the barrier potential VB and we also have the diode resistance RD which you can easily calculate by using this flow so let's try to find out the diode resistance I will take one example in which in which at 0 0.8 volts at 0 0.8 volts the diode current is 10 milli ampere and we have to find out the diode resistance RD it is very simple RD is equal to 0 0.8 minus 0 0.7 the barrier potential in case of silicon in case of silicon is 0 0.7 volts and in case of germanium it is 0 0.3 volts so we have 0 0.8 minus 0 0.7 divided by current is 10 milliampere at 0 0.8 volts and it is 0 milliamperes at 0 0.7 volts 10 raised to power minus 3 for milliamperes and when you solve this you will find the diode resistance is equal to 10 ohm so this is how you can find out the diode resistance in case of piecewise linear model and this is all for this first model now we will move to constant voltage drop model or simplified model in electrical circuits resistance of diode is very small as compared to the resistance of other elements so it can be neglected there are two assumptions in the second model in first assumption we have to consider the linear curve instead of a small nonlinearity and in the second assumption we will consider we will consider the diode resistance RD equal to zero and when RD is equal to zero it means one by slope is equal to zero or we can say that slope is equal to infinity and slope is equal to tan theta so tan theta is equal to infinity theta is equal to tan inverse infinity or theta is simply 90 degree so in case of in case of constant voltage drop model we have theta equal to 90 degree this is theta and in this case it is equal to 90 degree so it is very easy to plot the curve id VD we still have the barrier potential VB but the diode resistance is equal to zero so we have plot like this this is theta equal to 90 degree and this shows the diode resistance RD is equal to zero this is VB and it is equal to 0 0.7 for silicon and 0 0.3 for germanium so this is how the characteristics looks for constant voltage drop model now we will make the equivalent circuit and it is very simple if we compare the equivalent circuit with the first model we will find there is no diode resistance so everything will remain same and we only have to remove the diode resistance so I will draw it quickly first we will make ideal diode to represent 
the direction of current this is the ideal diode then we have the barrier potential barrier potential vb and diode resistance is equal to zero so there are only two things first one is the ideal diode and second one is the barrier potential we will connect p side to the positive terminal and this side to the negative terminal and voltage across the diode voltage across the diode is equal to vd current through the diode is id so this is all for the constant voltage drop model now we will move to the third model that is the ideal model and in case of ideal model both diode resistance rd and barrier potential are equal to zero this is something we have already covered in the last lecture that the diode resistance is equal to zero and barrier potential is also equal to zero in case of ideal equivalent circuit and it is very easy to plot it it is very easy to plot it in forward bias region as barrier potential is equal to zero we have plot like this this is id and this is vd barrier potential vb is equal to zero and as the slope is equal to infinity the resistance of the diode is also equal to zero and if we make the equivalent circuit then it will look something like this there is only ideal diode barrier potential is equal to zero and the diode resistance is also equal to zero so there is only ideal diode current through the diode is id and if we compare the three models we will find in the first model in the piecewise linear model we have barrier potential vb we have diode resistance rd but in second model the constant voltage drop model the diode resistance rd is equal to zero so we only have the barrier potential and in the last model the ideal model both barrier potential and diode resistance are equal to zero so this is all for the three models and if we compare them then we will find the constant voltage drop model is mostly used this model is mostly used when you solve numerical problem you have to use this model and in numerical problem if the diode is forward biased like this if the diode is forward biased this is 5 volts this is 0 volts then you have to replace the diode with its barrier potential 5 volts and 0 volts and if it is given that the diode is silicon diode then the barrier potential is equal to 0 0.7 volts and now you can easily solve the circuit and if the diode is reverse biased like this if the diode is reversed bias this is 0 volts and this is 5 volts P side is connected to the low potential and N side is connected to the high potential so this is the reverse bias condition and in case of reverse bias condition there will be no current through the diode so it will act as open circuit like this these two points are very important and by using them we can easily solve the numerical problems in forward bias condition you have to replace the diode by its barrier potential and in reverse bias condition it will act as open circuit so this is all for this lecture see you in the next one